Hi everyone, my name is Jan Melisondra and by using limited colors in my palette, I am going to teach you on how to paint this wonderful painting and please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Okay, so I am going to introduce to you first the materials that I'm going to use in this tutorial. Okay, so I still be using limited colors my palette, and I have the titanium white, the hollow blue, the brilliant red, the medium yellow, and the raw umber. So you can also use um, burnt umber, guys. Um, if you want to create dark co colors, you just have to mix it with the hollow blue to make it dark or similar to black and if you are using burnt sienna guys you can still use that but you need to mix it with the with the with the towel blue and and the red to make it um dark okay so i am using limited colors guys because i want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want okay and these are my brushes I'll be using the number 11 nylon flat brush long handled, number 8 nylon flat brush long handled. Okay. And I think I'll just use three types of brushes, guys. And I have here the number 7 nylon flat brush short handled. So I'll be using just three brushes, guys. But if ever I'm gonna need another. Um, smaller brush, I'll just to pick it one. Okay, so this is my canvas. It's 10 by 8 inches. It has three coats of prime white acrylic. You can also use gesso. I made that canvas myself. And water to thin the paint. And water spray, guys, if we're gonna make the surface um, smoother or wet so that we can have a better blendings. Okay, so I think I'm going to start now. And yeah, I'm going to start painting now. And I'll be painting today, guys, um, a gate or an old door. So this will be it's gonna be um, a wooden door, guys, with with the with the brick walls on the sides. Okay, so that will be my plan. This tutorial. Okay, here I'll be using the raw umber for the sketching so this will be my door here just have to sketch first there So this will be my door guys. That's it. Now let's fill that with colors. So I'll be using the raw umber with some white. There. And I'll be adding some red to make it more brownish and yellow. That's it. So here. So I need to fill this part with the with the brown color. And here guys I am using the what do you call this? The number eleven nylon flat brush. And if you are painting with me just follow what I'm doing. Oh, 
Okay. Shit. Okay. Now I'm going to paint the sides, guys. So I'll be using the again the raw umber with some blue color to make it grayish and some white. I'll be adding more raw umber. So there going to make it lighter Sorry guys, my dog is fully noisy. Okay, so I'm adding more raw umber and white. Okay, I'm adding more. So again, 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 again so we can uh, need to fill this part with the grayish color there this will be the first coats or the base color so I'm gonna use the dark here rumber So we just have to blend the colors here and follow if you are painting with me just follow what I what I'm doing here okay for now I am just adding the, the background colors or the first coating there so that's it I'll be adding more Row umber. Okay, so I think I'm going to start adding the details now. So I'll be using the number eight nylon flat brush and some plain raw umber here so let's add some dark lines here again. Uh, 
touch it. Okay. Did another line here. And also another line. So again guys, if you are painting with me, just follow what I'm doing. And don't forget to enjoy every moment when you when you are painting. Okay. Then we're gonna put some horizontal lines. No, I mean vertical lines, guys. I'm sorry. Straight from top to bottom. This will be the gap between the 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 old woods. There. There. Okay. Then I'm going to add some details. Uh, first but first I'm going to add some dark shades here shadows I mean just just drag some dark tone from top to bottom there there and also here okay and I'll be using a smaller brush which is the number 7 nylon flat brush and the same color guys the, the dark or the raw umber then we're gonna put some details on the wood there we're gonna I'll call it the annual rings. That's it. Okay. Let's put more and also here. So it's just a random um, oval, guys, or um, oblong shapes. There, you can actually put your own designs on this. To create a realistic wood, guys. There. That's it. And I think I'm gonna make some 
Cap Starker. Okay. And then we're gonna put some light tones, guys. So I'll be using the raw umber again with some white and red and yellow yeah, to make um, a distinct brown color. So you need to follow also the details on the on the annual rings guys. Like what I'm doing to create uh, the more detailed wood or the grains of wood. Just do it careful guys, extra careful with the details. and more here okay In case do not cover the the lines, the darker lines, just put it on the on the parts with just no highlights or no no lines, and also here. And also on the, on the side, we're gonna put some more details. That's it. Okay. 
Chết Here also There And here Okay And I'm going to put more details. So I'll be using the uh, the raw amber, guys. And I'm gonna put a small detail here. And here also. I'm not really sure what is this guy's. <laughs> I'm just following my reference. And then some luck here. The door lock here, guys. It's a totally the rect rectangle in shape. That's it. You can add more details if you want, if you like. But for me, that be I'm satisfied with that. Okay, so I'm mixing for a darker tone. So the raw umber with the blue there and let's put a little shade here so just do it slowly guys vertical stroke there that's it Okay. Yeah, it's just very easy, and I think you can do it also. Okay, what's next? So I think I'm proceed to the to the wall here. Now I think I'm going to put some brick wall. Some bricks on the wall guys so I'll be using the raw umber again with some red to to create um, an orange so I'm going to mix it also with yellow there So it's um, look like a dark orange. My mixture, so I'm going to add more yellow. That's it. So maybe I'm going to to add some light colors first. Yeah, let's forget about this color here. I'll be using another brush. I'll be using this number eight flat brush, and I'll be mixing the raw umber with some white there make it lighter and let's spray the color here there you do not have to make it plain just glaze it it and here ok 
Okay, I think that would be enough. And I'll be using this, this color again, the dark orange. And let's put some bricks. Let's put, let's put some bricks on the wall. So this will be the technique, guys. Just one stroke. There. Let's put another here. There. So that will be just very easy. Only one stroke. There. Just one stroke with the specific brush, guys. You need to find a small brush, a small flat brush, to create the one stroke. it And also on the other side here. That's it. So it's just very easy guys, I think this tutorial, everyone can do it, everyone can do this. Okay, there, so that's it. You can also put some more details, so I'll be using the raw umber. You need to clean your brush, guys, before mixing other paint. I need to put some dark here. Put some dark color here, guys. There. That's it. 
watch it can put some holes yeah, on, the, on, the, on the walls Okay, then we're gonna put more detail. So I'll be using a smaller brush. This is the number 8 nylon flat brush, long handled, and some white. And on this row umbra here, we're gonna put more white there. And let's put some more details, like something like this. There. You can actually use um, a palette knife, guys, if you have. There. This will be some sort of cement on top of the bricks. There. Touch it. And I'm going to make it darker, so I'm going to use, I'm going to add some raw umber there. So it doesn't have to be um, uniform, guys. You can make some darker or lighter. So you can just have to make how you can follow my stroke. It's a circular strokes. It's just like you're painting a clouds. You need to add more white. You can use the topping guys or bouncing technique like this to create more details.
Okay, so here I'm going to use the dark tone, the, the raw umber, and let's put some shadows here, some shades on the on the gaps or on the between the. Yeah, on this part. Okay. And also, the, we're gonna put a little uh, what do you call this? Gonna put some some cracks on the on the wall guys and the uh, the dark tones will emphasize the cracks and also here I'm gonna put a little rock a crack Put more cracks. That's it. Here, you're gonna put more. And also here. more more cracks here so again guys just follow what I'm doing if you are painting with me now so here you're gonna put more cracks to put more cracks here or some dark tones to make this uh, more realistic and adding more tones or variations of colors or shades there okay and here gonna we need to place we need, we need to place here there Okay, that's it. So I'm going to add more details. I'm going to add more. So I'm going to use this white and on the raw umber to make it lighter. And I'm going to put more here. Wait, it's too light. to add more highlights on the between the bricks guys okay about that yeah I'm not sure if I'm good I'm doing the, I am doing 
good okay so i think i'm going to add some plants on the bottom and this will be the last part but i'm going to use first i'm going to add first some dark tones so i'll be using this raw umber with some blue there so i'll be putting some more dark tones here so you just have to glaze the colors something like this there And then I'm going to put some plants. So I'll be using the blue and the yellow to create some greens and with a little amount of red. Just a little amount of red, guys. And yellow. There. And I'll be I am using again the the number seven nylon pot brush. Okay, here you're gonna put some plants there and here so you can use the topping technique guys to create the the large um, the large leaves so I'm using this this brush type guys because I want to I want to emphasize the, the big leaves of this on this um, land Okay. Yeah, I think I'm gonna like the result. So here I'm gonna mix again with, with green, yellow and blue, and a little amount of red. And here I'm gonna put some more grasses. Okay, and I'm going to put more yellow and white to, to make some highlights. Here, I'm going to put some highlights, so just one stroke, there. Do not, do not put uh, two strokes the same area, there, so that you, win, you won't cover the, the details. In here, okay. And here I'm going to put more details. So I can guess it's tapping or punching. That's 
watch it. So again guys, the tapping or punching, just cover the, the, the parts with the highlights. There. Okay. What else I'm gonna put? I think I'm gonna put, um, um, what do you call this? A tree here guys. A branch of tree. So I think that will be the last part. So I'll be using this raw amber. Then I'm gonna put a branch of tree here. to make it bigger That's Okay, and I'm going to put some highlights. So here, I'll be adding some a little amount of yellow and white. Yeah, but I think it's too wet, guys. So I'll just directly put some leaves on there. So I'll be using the blue and the yellow to put some leaves and red. Again guys, I'm using the same brush to create the big leaves here. Okay, so if you are painting with me now, just follow what I'm doing. And do not forget to enjoy while you are painting. There. Yeah. How about that? And we to put some more yellow for the highlights and white. Okay. Yes, I think I am done guys with my simple painting tutorial on how to paint um, an old door or an old gate on a brick wall. Okay, so I hope you understand and get something out of this tutorial guys and my advice to you to you is to keep on painting, keep on practicing, the more you the more you know how to use your brush, the more you know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in my palette because I want you to learn how to mix and get the desired colors you want. Okay guys, thank you so much. Please hit like, add some comments, and subscribe for more videos in the future. Thank you guys. And
okay guys thank you have a nice day and god bless you all